Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan with the Screenwriter's Rant on the Bite, a zombie series that takes place in, I don't know, modern times from <laughs> Spectrum, Spectrum Originals. I guess that's a channel. Uh, it probably is one of the most annoying zombie... <laughs> <laughs> zombie premises I've ever heard because the characters just seem very annoying. Now, the, the upshot is they tie it into the beer virus, which is kind of cool. And here's here's a guy getting up and people talking on Zoom calls and they, they're not paying attention and then boom, you know, she's screaming, no, get out of the house, he's turned into a zombie. Um, and, you know... People turning into zombies, and then this is a uh, she's a dominatrix, and one of her clients was were bit, and then he he dies too, and then kills the cat, and she has to kill the cat, and you know it's here here he is with no hand. <laughs> Guess he gnawed off his own hands in these difficult times. So it's like a a beer virus version of uh, zombie times, right, Joan? Right, Joan? And, man, the music they put on this is brutal. It's just brutal. I wish I could play it to you, uh, for you. It's coming May 21st. And uh, it's a comedy, which helps. I mean, she this character is the landlord, and she says, I don't care if it is the apocalypse, you still have to pay the rent. Okay. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence because the music's so annoying and I don't like any of the characters. Like, normally in these things, there's one character who's kind of like, hey, I'm I'm the normal everyman and I, I, I don't really want this to happen, but I become a zombie fighter because I have to to survive. In this, like, the main characters are a scientist who kind of fails at saving someone. And should probably know more. And then uh, a dominatrix who, they're not, she in particular doesn't seem like a good person. I don't feel like I'm rooting for her. She seems kind of like, you know, kind of like a muddy, grubbing human being. It, it, so, I don't know. They call it a thriller series. Okay. It should be a comedy series, or you shouldn't have a character like the landlord saying, Oh, you still have to pay the rent. So are they going to push this like, you know, they're going to push it like a government cover-up? Maybe that could work. You know, people turn into zombies, but they keep sort of like killing them and maintain society at some level. I don't see how you could in the classic zombie scenario, which this seems to be. And people do seem to turn rather quickly. Um... Would I see it? I guess I would, as long as I didn't have to pay for it. Um, you know, if this was just on regular TV, I would totally turn tune in to the first episode just to see their version of zombies. But I gotta say, I, I it feels like it feels like zombies have jumped the shark. I mean, that's what it feels like. It feels like, yep, we're gonna do zombies too now, and this is the way it's gonna be. Uh, we're gonna make it happen, and oh, well, here's a zombie eating a guy, and I guess she's one of the main characters. She didn't feel like a main character. None of these people felt like a main character, and they don't feel like they're doing anything good. There's a there's a specific way to present protagonists, so you go, oh, okay, this is the protagonist. This is the person I'm rooting for. I'm not seeing it here in this trailer. And, and the story part of the zombie apocalypse, that's easy. People get that. But you need to give us why we care about these characters. I mean, if it's just going to be a satire about modern life and we kind of don't care about anybody, okay. But that, to me, doesn't make a series. You need to be able to follow somebody. Right, Joan? Right, Joan? Joan doesn't even want to sit here for the trailer. That's how much she hates it. Anyhow, that's my thoughts on The Bite. Coming to a new TV channel called Spectrum at, uh, at a TV near you, I guess, if you have Spectrum. Um, smash like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our bit shoot exclusives today, right, Joan? We always have two. So get into the political stuff on BitChute and, of course, Rumble.